There are some exercises that I wish I had known earlier to achieve the middle split and today I want to share them with you in order to simplify your process toward the achievement of this beautiful and so hard stretching position. But first things first, why is the middle split so hard? For most people it's a combination between adductors flexibility and lower back extension. In a middle split you have to spread your legs apart which is adductors flexibility but also at your back and that is lower back flexibility. These three exercises allow you to focus on your adductors flexibility only without your lower back interfering with the stretch which is a huge advantage you can use to gain more flexibility. But now let's see these three exercises that will allow you to achieve the middle split with ease, all right? The flexibility guy, Cortalia. The first position I want to show you is the diamond pose. You need a couple of ways to do this. Join your feet together in front of your hips, spread your knees apart, put the weights on your knees and let the weights push your knees down and also push a little bit with your hands as well. You want to relax and you want to gently drive your knees down. A couple of tips here. You can apply PNF contraction to increase the stretch, which means you want to push your knees up against your hands and waist resistance for 10 to 20 seconds, then you stop, inhale, and on the exhale, you get deeper into the stretch. But also, you can push your knees down. So you want to squeeze your glutes, push your knees down, 10 to 20 seconds, then you stop, inhale, exhale. Try to get a little deeper into the stretch. This is a fabulous one for your middle split. But the next one is also really similar, but quite different, and is the frog stretch. You want to start with your feet against the wall, because in this way, you're gonna be able to see if your feet are in line with your knees. It's really important here, all right? So you want to lie down on your back again, put your feet on the wall, and spread your knees apart. Now your feet have to be on the same line as your knees. Now you want to, again, put the weights on your knees and push your knees down top of the floor. Again, to increase the stretch, so your main goal here is to drive your knees down. You have two main strategies to increase the stretch. Push your knees up against your hands and weights resistance, 10 to 20 seconds, then you stop, inhale, exhale, get deeper, or, and you can push your knees down, all right? So you press your knees down, squeezing your glutes as if you wanted to follow the weights direction, all right? So you squeeze your glutes, you push your knees down, 10 to 20 seconds again, then you stop, inhale, exhale, get deeper into the stretch. But now, the third position, my favorite one, is the line middle split. As you can see, these three exercises share a common thing. You're always lying on your back. And why is that? Because in a side split, in a middle split, you have your back really, really arched. And by staying with your back on the floor, this is not possible anymore. You have to maintain your body and your trunk straight. You can't arch that much. That's why your back has to remain straight during these three positions. And you can focus, as I said, on your adductors flexibility. During this last position, you want to straighten your legs. Lie down on your back, take the weights, straighten the legs. Now, spread your legs apart, put the weights on your knees. Now, it's really important that your feet and your knees remain in line with your hips at all times, at all times, all right? Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads in order to keep your legs straight your quads so you want to really extend your knees and squeeze also your glutes to maintain your legs in line with your hips now with the weights on your knees you want to gently breathe in and out and try to spread your legs wider and wider and wider and again you got our two strategies here that can drastically improve your flexibility level you can push your knees and feet up against your hands and weights resistance 10 to 20 seconds, then you stop, inhale, exhale, get deeper, or you can squeeze your glutes and open your legs further. 10 to 20 seconds, 
stopping hair cell get deeper all right guys so these are three very good exercises you can use to increase your middle split range of motion use these three and see the results you'll get all right let me know and have a nice stretch Hey, if you want to improve your legs, hips, lower body flexibility in general, and you also want to master the splits, in this book you can find all the exercises you need. This is called Split Sacking, and you can find it on Amazon right now.